Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I wanted to go ahead and pre-record this um, and put it out there. I'm just going to start a playlist, um, you know, of going through the Bible. And um, I'll be going live too, but um, I wanted to go ahead. We did chapter 3 last week, so we are going to do chapter 4. I just want to get them pre-done because going through the Bible and hearing all of it, and we're just going to do one chapter at a time so um, so that you can let things sink in. But let's, uh, let's make it a little bigger just in case. And here we go. Scroll. Uh oh, I can't get to the. I'm sorry. Can't get to the. There we go. I can make it bigger after it starts. Genesis 4. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Erad, and Erad begat Mahushael, and Mahushael begat Methusael, and Methusael begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other, Zillah. And Adar bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Zillah, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. And Lamech said unto his wives, Adar and Zillah, 
Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged a sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. You know what, let's go on to chapter 5. Oops, I have to make it littler, smaller, so that we can listen. Genesis 5. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them, and called their name Adam, in the day when they were created. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years, and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. And Seth lived an hundred and five years, and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos eight hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. And Enos lived ninety years, and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan eight hundred and fifteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were nine hundred and five years, and he died. And Canaan lived seventy years, and begat Mahalaleel. And Canaan lived after he begat Mahalaleel eight hundred and forty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. And Mahalaleel lived sixty and five years, and begat Jared. And Mahalaleel lived after he begat Jared eight hundred and thirty years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalaleel were eight hundred ninety and five years, and he died. And Jared lived an hundred sixty and two years, and he begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived an hundred and eighty and seven years, and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years, and he died. And Lamech lived an hundred eighty and two years, and begat a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah five hundred ninety and five years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem. Um, and Japheth. So, uh, you know that last chapter where the son of Cain, um, he had an Enoch too. So, and this is Enoch. Um, this is a different Enoch. And this is the Enoch that um, was a scribe. And even in Enoch, he calls him scribe of God. Uh, so, um, and this is the last you really hear about Enoch, other than 
when we get to chapter um, let's see. All right, let's go to this is five. So let's go to chapter six and go ahead and read that one to or listen to it, should I say? Okay. Oops, sorry. If you guys know me, you know how imperf imperfect I am, but that's okay. So. Genesis 6. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw, the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air. For it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man, and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, but the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant. And thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind. Two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. So, um... Now, um, you know, the Bible doesn't go into great detail about um, why. So, there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bare children with them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. And God saw the weakness. So this is where the seed of the seed was disturbed. Um, this is where every at Canaan, obviously, at Cain, and also Cain family is the one that this was happening to. Um, they were the watchers, um, which were, um, we're going to look at that 
um, really quick. I wanted to do this for a while is show you in scripture where the the giants happened and everything and then we're just gonna um, so the watchers um, the book of the watchers so um, but we're we're going to so this is really long um, the book of Enoch so um, this is a hundred and fifteen videos so let's see I wanted to find one I guess let's go to this one Let's see. Yeah, so these are kind of short. So we will shut up our Dixie. We will uh we will listen to these and and then we'll we'll remember where we left off and we're going to add this into the study because the book of Enoch. It needs to be translated by R. H. Charles, it was Doctor taken of Literature out. and Doctor of Divinity. Published by the Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge, nineteen seventeen. Read by Christopher Glynn. Parable of Enoch on the future lot of the wicked and the righteous. Chapter one. The words of the blessing of Enoch, wherewith he blessed the elect and righteous who will be living in the day of tribulation, when the wicked and godless are to be removed. And he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man. So you hear that, when the wickest, wicked and godless are to be removed. So there's going to be a time. So I think people think that the rapture is something that... Um, will be changed in the blink of an eye is because everything gets destroyed. <laughs> um, and you know, we won't, we won't inherit that second death. You know, the first death is when your body dies and goes to shul, which Enoch explains. Um, this book is, you guys, you've got to study this, this, to know the end, you must know the beginning, guys. I'm telling you. Anyway, I'll hush. Whose eyes were opened by God, saw the vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angels showed me. And from them I heard everything. And from them I understood as I saw. But not for this generation, but for a remote one, which is for to come. Concerning the elect, I said, and took up my parable concerning them. The Holy Great One will come forth from his dwelling, and the eternal God will tread upon the earth, even on Mount Sinai, and appear from his camp, and appear in the strength of his might from the heaven of heavens. And all shall be smitten with fear, and the watchers shall quake, and great fear and trembling shall seize them unto the ends of the earth. And the high mountains shall be shaken, and the high hills shall be made low, and shall melt like wax before the flame. And the earth shall be wholly rent in sunder, and all that is upon the earth shall perish, and there shall be judgment upon all men. But with the righteous he will make peace, and will protect the elect, and mercy shall be upon them, and they shall all belong to God and they shall all be prospered, and they shall all be blessed, and he will help them all. This is Bob, Sorry, the guys. system administrator, and this is Bobby, the boss of Bob. So we know that um, this is the scribe of the scribe of God. 
talking here, guys. And it was taken out because of the fear that people have of the truth. The aliens and all of that crap are these watchers. I'm telling you guys. And he will make peace with them. And behold, he cometh with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to destroy all the ungodly and to convict all flesh of all the works of their ungodliness which they have yes, ungodly Yahweh. committed yes. and of all the hard things which ungodly yes. sinners have spoken against him. Chapter 2 Observe ye everything that takes place in the heaven, how they do not change their orbits, and the luminaries which are in the heaven, how they all rise and set in order, each in its season, and transgress not against their appointed order. Behold ye the earth, and give heed to the things which take place upon it, from first to last, how steadfast they are, how None of the things on earth change, but all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water, and clouds and dew and rain lie upon it. Chapter 3 Observe and see how in the winter all the trees seem as though they have withered and shed all their leaves except fourteen trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain the old foliage from two to three years till the new comes. Chapter 4 And again observe ye the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth over against it, and you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with growing heat, and so you cannot tread on the earth or on a rock by reason of its heat. Chapter 5 Observe ye how the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. Wherefore, give ye heed and know with regard to all his works, and recognize how he that liveth for ever hath made them so. And all his works go on thus from year to year for ever, and all the tasks which they accomplish for him, and their tasks change not, but according as God hath ordained, so is it done. And behold how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish and change not their tasks from his commandments. But ye, Ye have not been steadfast, nor done the commandments of the Lord. But ye have turned away and spoken proud and hard words with your impure mouths against his greatness. O oh, ye hard-hearted, ye shall find no peace. Therefore shall ye execrate your days, and the years of your life shall perish, and the years of your destruction shall be multiplied in eternal execration and ye shall find no mercy. In those days ye shall make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous, and by you shall all who curse, curse, and all the sinners and godless shall imprecate by you. And for you, the godless, there shall be a curse, and all the elect shall rejoice, and there shall be forgiveness of sins, and every mercy and peace and forbearance. There shall be salvation unto them, a goodly light. And for all you sinners, there shall be no salvation, and on you all shall abide a curse. But for the elect, there shall be light and joy and peace, and they shall inherit the earth. So, we are going to inherit the earth. Oops. The elect wisdom, and they shall all live and never again sin, either through ungodliness or through pride. But they who are wise 
shall be humble, and they shall not again transgress, nor shall they sin all the days of their life, nor shall they die of the divine anger or wrath, but they shall complete the number of the days of their life, and their lives shall be increased in peace, and the years of their joy shall be multiplied in eternal gladness and peace all the days of their life. The fall of the angels, the demoralization of mankind, the intercession of the angels on behalf of mankind, the dooms pronounced by God on the angels, the messianic kingdom. Chapter 6 And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied, that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men, and get us children. And Semjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to do this deed and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And there were in all two hundred who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon, and they called it Mount Hermon because they'd sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And these are the names of the... Okay, so you can see that there was an agreement to disobey God. And um, basically these watchers were supposed to be helping Adam and Eve and um, but they did not they decided to disobey God so um, this is how um, so when the flood happened when we get back to the book of Genesis when the flood happened that and it destroyed the giants the ones that were eating all the people and um, everything um, basically what it boils down to is their spirits lived on because they were eternal beings. So um, that's how possession, um, how people are able to be possessed by these demons. Anyway, let's keep listening. Their leaders, Samayazaz, their leader, Arikaba, Ramael, Kokobiel, Tamiel, Ramiel, Daniel, Ezekiel, Barakajal, Asael, Amaros, Atarel, Ananel, Zakiel, Samsapiel, Satarel, Turel, Jomjael, Sariel. These are their chiefs of tens. Chapter 7 And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, each chose for himself one, and they began to go in unto them and defile themselves with them. And they taught them charms and enchantments and the cutting of roots, and made them acquainted with plants. And they became pregnant, and they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand ells, who consumed the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. Lawless ones. Chapter 8 and Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of antimony and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones. 
and all coloring tinctures. And there arose much godliness, and they committed fornication, and they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. Semjaza taught enchantments and root cuttings, Amaros the resolving of enchantments, Barakijal taught astrology, Kokobel the constellations, Ezekiel the knowledge of the clouds, Arachiel the signs of the earth, Shamsiel the signs of the sun, and Sariel the course of the moon. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine with you. Okay. Cut the cable with Verizon Home Internet and cut your internet. That is not what I meant to do. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to heaven. Chapter 9 And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth, and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said one to another, The earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. And now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men make their suit, saying, Bring our cause before the Most High. And they said to the Lord of the ages, Lord of lords, God of gods, King of kings, and God of the ages, the throne of thy glory standeth unto all the generations of the ages, and thy name, holy and glorious and blessed, unto all ages. Thou hast made all things, and power over all things hast thou, and all things are naked and open in thy sight, and thou seest all things, and nothing can hide itself from thee. Thou seest what Azazel hath done, who hath taught all unrighteousness on earth, and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which men were striving to learn, and Semjaza, to whom thou hast given authority, to bear rule over his associates. And they have gone to the daughters of men upon the earth, and have slept with the women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds of sins. And the women have borne giants, and the whole earth has thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness. And now behold, the souls of those who have died are crying and make their suit to the gates of heaven, and their lamentations have ascended and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds which are wrought on the earth. Thou knowest all things before they come to pass, and thou seest these things, and thou dost suffer them, and thou dost not say to us what we are to do to them in regard to these. Chapter 10 Then said the Most High, the Holy and Great One spake, and sent Uriel to the son of Lamech, and said to him, Go to Noah, and tell him in my name, Hide thyself, and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed, and a deluge is about to come upon the whole earth, and will destroy all that is on it. And now, Instruct him that he may escape, and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. And again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind Azazel hand and foot, and cast him into the darkness, and make an opening in the desert which is in Dudael, and cast him therein, and place upon him rough and jagged rocks, and cover him with darkness, and let him abide there for ever and cover his face that he may not see light. And on the day of the great judgment, he shall be cast into the fire, and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted, and proclaim the healing of the earth, that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. And Gabriel said to the Lord, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates, 
and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth and send them one against the other, that they may destroy each other in battle. For length of days they shall not have, and no request that they, their fathers, make of thee shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life, and that each one of them will live five hundred years. This is Bob, a system administrator. And so, you see how, um, why this was hidden now. And um, anyway. Go. Bind Semjaza and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. And when their sons have slain one another and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for 70 generations in the valleys of the earth till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is for ever and ever is consummated. Chapter 11. And in so, the, 70 generations from this time is the judgment. I don't know if you guys caught on to that. Those days I will open the store chambers of blessing which are in the heaven, so as to send them down upon the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. And truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. Dream Vision of Enoch His intercession for Azazel and the fallen angels and his announcement to them of their first and final doom. Chapter 12 So here's where they, the fallen, have tried to get Enoch to go to God for them. So that it's just him going to God for them, not for himself. Before these things, Enoch was hidden, and no one of the children of men knew where he was hidden, and where he abode, and what had become of him. And his activities had to do with the watchers, and his days were with the holy ones. And I, Enoch, was blessed. So he wasn't dead. God took him, and this is all the things that he saw. Seeing the Lord of majesty and the king of the ages, and lo, the watchers called me Enoch the scribe, and said to me, Enoch, thou scribe of righteousness, go, declare to the watchers of the heaven who have left the high heaven, the holy eternal place, and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken unto themselves wives. You see, God, the Most High, called him Scribe Enoch, Scribe of Enoch. So. Ye have wrought great destruction on the earth. Take a tour of a place from the comfort of your phone. So... You, you're seeing, you're, this is the truth, guys. This isn't, this is why it was hidden. is so that you don't really, you won't know that there really are demons and there really are uh, aliens being uh, aliens. That, they're not aliens. They, they've lived here their entire lives. <laughs> so... There's no such thing as aliens. Everything is created, created by our Creator, the Most High, Elohim. Give you so. a lifetime warranty and a 30 day set. And ye shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin. And inasmuch as they delight themselves in their children, the murder of their beloved ones shall they see. And over the destruction of their children shall they lament, and shall make supplication unto eternity. But mercy and peace shall ye not attain. Chapter 13 
And Enoch went and said, Azazel, thou shalt have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth against thee to put thee in bonds, and thou shalt not have toleration nor request granted to thee because of the unrighteousness which thou hast taught, and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast shown to men. Then I went and spoke to them all together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them. And they besought me to draw up a petition for them, that they might find forgiveness, and to read their petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceforward they could not speak with him, nor lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they had been condemned. Then I wrote out their petition and the prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to their requests that they should have forgiveness and length of days. And I went off and sat down at the waters of Dan, in the land of Dan, to the south of the west of Hermon. I read their petition till I fell asleep. And behold, a dream came to me and visions fell down upon me. And I saw visions of chastisement, and a voice bidding me to tell it to the sons of heaven, and reprimand them. And when I awaked, I came unto them, and they were all sitting, gathered together, weeping in Abel's jail, which is between Lebanon and Senesa, with their faces covered. And I recounted before them all the visions which I had seen in sleep, and I began to speak the words of righteousness and to reprimand the heavenly watchers. Chapter 14 The book of the words of righteousness and of the reprimand of the eternal watchers in accordance with the command of the Holy Great One in that vision. I saw in my sleep what I will now say with the tongue of flesh and with the breath of my mouth, which the Great One has given to men to converse therewith and understand with the heart. As he has created and given to man the power of understanding the word of wisdom, so hath he created me also and given me the power of reprimanding the watchers, the children of heaven. I wrote out your petition, and in my vision it appeared thus that your petition will not be granted unto you throughout all the days of eternity, and that judgment has been finally passed upon you. Yea, your petition will not be granted unto you. And from henceforth you shall not ascend into heaven unto all eternity, and in bonds of the earth the decree has gone forth to bind you for all the days of the world, and that previously you shall have seen the destruction of your beloved sons, and ye shall have no pleasure in them, but they shall fall before you by the sword, and your petition on their behalf shall not be granted, nor yet on your own, even though you weep and pray and speak all the words contained in the writing which I have written. And the so you guys can see that... Um the reason that this is not hidden, even though we haven't read it all, but um, we will pick this up later. Um, you guys take care and God bless you. And I hope you have a little bit of understanding why God destroyed the earth with the flood now and what really was going on and how demons were created. Uh, but there's way more to this book. If you guys want to go ahead and, and look it up yourself, it's right here, chapter 10, the book of Enoch. Um, but anyway, you guys be blessed, take care, and uh, God be with you.